What's up booktube? Welcome back. My name is Laura if you're new here and today I'm talking about some new book releases for March. I have no idea how it's already almost March um, but here we are so hi. <laughs> I've got 10 books coming out in March that I'm personally looking forward to and like just the covers from this year are incredible but like there are so many nice covers. I'm dying inside. I love it. Everything is beautiful. I'm very happy about it. So I'm actually not going to ramble for once. I'm just going to get right into it. Starting with one that I'm sure everybody is hyped for and that is Galland by V.E. Schwab. I'm not even sure what this book is about but I'm already just so looking forward to it. The cover is stunning. It is so freaking beautiful. The plot I'm super confused about but like not at all in a bad way. It's some kind of haunted house thing. There's like a giant gothic sprawling manor and a girl who can see ghosts kind of and that's really all that I need to know. I don't need anything else. I'm just so excited for this book. Next up also on March 1st is A Thousand Steps Into Night by Tracy Chi. This one says it's a Japanese influenced fantasy brimming with demons, adventure, and plans gone awry which sounds like exactly what I need. I love adventure based fantasy and especially as we well know uh, fantasies based in mythology from different cultures. I love Japanese mythology as well. I'm just, I love all mythology, but like I, I have my favorites, you know, Japanese is one of them. And this one has to do with the daughter of an innkeeper who I think she like transforms into some kind of like trickster thing. Um, oh, into a demon with a, with a deadly touch is what it says, which already sounds awesome. And then she has to go on an adventure of some kind and she's joined by a magpie spirit, which also sounds cool as fuck. And yeah, no clue what's gonna happen here but it has to do with gods and monsters and demons so like you know I'm here for it. Next up also on March 1st is The Lost Dreamer by Liz Huerta. This one is a stunning YA fantasy inspired by ancient Mesoamerica. Yes, please. This book, again, in terms of plot, I really have no clue what's going on, but the general premise is that it follows a line of seers. They're dreamers. I'm not really sure what that means or like what it entails, but the main character has the apparently very rare ability to dream the truth, and the king does not like that, apparently. But no clue what's actually going to happen in this one, but it just sounds so cool. I love the idea of a like Mesoamerican-inspired fantasy novel. I have never seen a book like that before, so I think it's going to be a really interesting one for sure. And again, the cover. It's beautiful. <laughs> Moving on to our March 8th releases. First up is Blood Scion by Deborah Fillet. This one is a fantasy inspired by Yoruban and Nigerian mythologies. And the tagline for this one, I'm I can't. It says, this is what they deserve. They wanted me to be a monster. I will be the worst monster they ever created. I can't. I cannot. I need it right now. Um, this is <laughs> this one already right up my alley. We've got mythology based fantasy. We have a badass female main character. We've got monsters. I love monsters. <laughs> I love a villainous main characters. <laughs> So for this one, um, the main character is uh, forcibly, what's the word, Constri con conscripted? I don't know. She's brought into the army by force. When she's 15, she is forcibly taken into the army and uh, she decides to take them down from within by becoming the best monster that they've ever seen. And that just sounds great. <laughs> Next up is The Circus Infinite by Khan Wong. This one is also just... Wow. <laughs> so there are so many books coming out this month that are just like right up my alley. But this one is a sci-fi and our main character has some kind of like gravity defying abilities. And so somebody wants to study him and torture him and everything. So he escapes to what's known as the Pleasure Moon where he ends up catching the attention of some like mobster. And so he ends up joining the circus and also teaming up with a mobster to do something with the mob. I don't really know, but I don't care. Like we get sci-fi, it's queer, there's mob stuff, there's a circus. I'm just hyped. I'm so excited. <laughs> And the cover! Look at the cover! It's so pretty. Still on March 8th, we've got Squire by Sarah Alphage and Nadia Shamas. Not sure the names there, sorry about that. This one is a graphic novel that has to do with knights. It's about a young girl of like mixed background and she joins the military because she wants to uh, become a knight. That's like the highest honor that anybody could ever get is, is, is being a knight. And then while she's there, she learns that if the people that, that she's fighting for win, they may not be winning for her. And so she has to choose between loyalty to her empire 
vampire or loyalty to herself. Uh, it sounds really interesting and we all know I love a good graphic novel. Still on March 8th we've got The Way Spring Arrives and Other Stories, a collection of Chinese science fiction and fantasy in translation from a visionary team of female and non-binary creators. Super long title but I'm here for it. I'm just going to read the Goodreads synopsis because there's a lot happening here. It's an anthology so it's kind of hard to sum up what it's about. So this one says from an award-winning team of authors, editors, and translators comes a groundbreaking short story collection that, that explores the expanse of Chinese science fiction and fantasy. You can dine at a restaurant at the end of the universe, cultivate to immortality in the high mountains, watch roses perform Shakespeare, or arrive at the island of the gods on the backs of giant fish to ensure that the world can bloom. Written, edited, and translated by a female and non-binary team, these stories have never before been published in English and represent both the richly complicated past and the vivid future of Chinese science fiction and fantasy. Time travel to a winter's day on the West Lake, explore the very boundaries of death itself, and meet old gods and new heroes in this stunning new collection. It sounds so good! <laughs> Again, cover, beautiful, gorgeous. I love it. I love the idea of having like an SFF collection from entirely female and non-binary creators. That just sounds really fun and interesting and I think it's going to be um, just a really fantastic addition to the world of SFF, which we all know has been largely dominated by white men for all of history up until like the last couple decades. So this is going to be such a wonderful thing to have as being part of um, the world of SFF and I'm so excited for it. Speaking of anthology, Anthologies. Also, again, on March 8th comes Curved and Magic by a bunch of authors. Again, cover. Beautiful. Um, I'm once again going to read the Goodreads synopsis because, again, anthologies are hard to sum up, so I'm just going to do that. An elf stands on a battlefield ready to strike. A fae prince falls for his mortal enemy. Whether this collection of stories takes you for a journey through a magical landscape or brings a creature from a distant land to your doorstep, you won't be left wanting of magic and excitement. Strong women, big swords, epic adventures, and beautiful love stories come together in this fantasy book with femme fatales who look just like you. Do you like strong heroes, wizards, dragons, and forbidden romance? Then this set is for you. Grab your copy of Curbs and Magic today. I would like to. Please give it to me. I want this. <laughs> so that just sounds delightful. Um, this sounds like it's going to be more of like fun kind of fantasy, like not too serious and that kind of thing, I hope at least. I just like the idea of like big swords and women. <laughs> That's what I want. <laughs> March 29th is bringing us one of my most anticipated books of the year and that is So This Is Ever After by F.T. Lukens. Y'all, I am not ready. I'm ready, but I'm not ready either. <laughs> Um, F.T. Lukens is, is the author of In Deeper Waters, which I read last year and just adored. It was on my top 10 books of the year. Uh, I do have a full video review for that one, so I will link that for you guys down below if you wanted to check it out. But I am so excited for more F.T. Lukens. I don't even know what, what this one's about, but like the cover has two magical looking dudes on there and that's all I need to know. And it has to do with Arthurian legend as well, so like perfect. What else could I possibly ask for? And it's obviously queer too, so like even better. Yeah, like genuinely, I, I don't know what it's about and I don't really want to know. Uh, I think it has to do with like what happens after the Arthurian legend is complete, but that's that's as much as I want to know. I want to go into this blind and just really enjoy it. Uh, I love this author's writing style and their world building is incredible. And the way that they write romance is just so good. Just, just Yes, I love it so much. <laughs> and then finally, also on March 29th, is Magic Steeped in Poison by Judy I. Lin. Cover! Look at this cover! I, I know I keep saying that about literally all these books, but it's so pretty. This is one of the nicest covers that I've ever seen in my life. It's so nice! For the plot for this one, I... wow. Okay, so it has to do with a... Uh, our main character accidentally killed her mother. Oops! Uh, she brewed a tea that was poisonous and didn't mean to give it to her. I'm not sure if she didn't know that it was poison. I have no idea how this accident occurred, but it happened. And then her sister also drank it, but her sister is not dead yet. And so the main character here is that the king is going to be doing a competition for tea makers. And if you win, then you get one favor from the princess. And she thinks that if she can go and win the competition, then she can save her sister's life. So off she goes, but there are like backstabbing competitors and bloody court politics, all these crazy things. And that just sounds like it's going to be a riot. I love like any kind of like competition, fantasy. It's so much fun. And I like the motivations for this one too. I think that's a really interesting premise of like, you know, accidentally murdering your family and trying to fix that before things go terribly wrong. Sounds great. <laughs> all right, so those are all the books that I'm looking forward to that are coming out in March. Um, sorry that I'm like a bit unhinged today. I feel, I feel chaotic right now. I'm feeling a little like, woo, you know? Um, I've had like a cup of coffee today, so I have no excuse for being this 
wired. That was also like hours ago. So again, no clue what's going on, but I'm just kind of feeling my vibe today. Anyways, I gotta go now before I make a fool of myself, even farther than I already have, probably. Um, so thanks so much for watching. I hope you're all having a great day wherever you are in the world, and I will catch you in the next video. Bye!